What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the uh, Boston Bruins. There's an old saying, uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, and your boy CJ is a fucking moron. I, I Every year, I'm off the bandwagon to start the season. They should blow it up. They should tank. Try to get a high pick. And then they drag me back in, and I'm like, oh. Then I start having these really, really crazy ideas, like, shit. Maybe they can go to the conference finals with this team, and you know the East is wide open. You never know. And um, well, yeah, every year, the last three years, we've had this um, collapse come our way. So uh, you know, it's kind of like the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl. Like I, I know all my fans in Buffalo are probably too young to remember the four falls of Buffalo, but like, at what point do you just be like, yeah, I know, Jimmy Johnson and the Cowboys are gonna fucking run us over? Or, you know, Bill Belichick, who still owns your franchise, by the way, is going to come up with a defensive game plan to really shut down Jim Kelly. Um, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's, it's just like one of those situations. And, you know, the the Edmonton game was bad. The Toronto game was embarrassing. The Ottawa game was humiliating. And the Tampa game was just a flat out, like, we don't give a fuck anymore. We want to play golf in April, like, type shit. And it's just like, and you know what, again, shame on me for thinking that this year was going to be different. It's not. This team isn't that talented. They overachieve, and then they run out of gas. And, you know what, I'm just accepting the point. I'm, you know what, I'm pretty much just resigned to the point that they're not making the playoffs. I know they're technically holding on to a wild card spot, but they got their two points up on the Islanders, and they play in Brooklyn to, uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night. Um, the Islanders are a desperate hockey team. And then Tampa's three points in back of them with a the game at hand. Tampa has their game at hand tonight in Detroit which is a very winnable game, considering how lousy the Red Wings have been, which is something I haven't said in my lifetime. Uh, then, actually, Tampa's got a stretch, tough stretch after that. Uh, Chicago's down there, and then... Uh, yeah, so it's, we'll see what happens. But, you know, Tampa wins their next two games, hypothetically. I know having to beat Chicago's easier said than done. Stamp Coast maybe comes back next week, and then, you know, we'll see what happens. But, again... Eight games to go in the B season, and I do not like their chances of making the Stanley Cup playoffs in 2017. Um, I am intrigued by the notion of Charlie McAvoy suiting up for them if and when BU gets eliminated, which could come as early as five hours from now. Um, but according to the Bruins, they're not going to play him until they're eliminated. It's, it's a word on the street. But given how much Kevin Miller, Colin Miller, and Adam McQuaid all suck, um, Shit, I'd put a 19-year-old kid out there and say, all right, kid, do your thing. I'd, f I'd, rather go d I'd rather go down with the ship with Charlie McAvoy getting a look than have the same group of fucking choke artists piss it away for the third straight year. But what do I know? Donnie Boyce, when he went to Harvard, and I didn't, which I think says more about me than it does about him. But anyway, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.